What is up, boys? Today is the day. For today's video, we are going to be doing a Honus Wagner debut. Now, if you saw the last video, I did go over his stats, but we will go over them once again. He has 123 contact versus right, 125 contact versus left, 88 pop on right, 89 pop on left with 125 vision. He's Tony Gwynn, but juiced. He's going to be playing shortstop for us today. He has 91 fielding, 90 arm strength, 85 arm accuracy 87 reaction which is better than two lows i hate as much as i hate to say that it is true 96 speed 98 stealing if he had like a hundred power this card would be literally insane but he only has 88 89 which for me does bring some fear about he's in the same range as pudge hopefully he's got some pop so for the lineup today tony gwen will be leading off honus wagner will be in the two hole and then we got frank ron jeremy our cap who's been on a mission since we put him behind the dish duke snyder alomar willie mays and josh donaldson still rocking it out at their base for the bench we do have some new faces we're still using hornsby and braun absolutely still love them vladimir guerrero kills lefties he's still staying but the two new additions to the bench we got joey Votto back after we did we sold him and then we had to buy him back but willie stargell i am looking forward to using him he looks like a card that is gonna rake against the righty so hopefully this game is played on legend because i want to see how good honus wagner is going to be doing at the top and highest tier so our opponent for today is the texas slayers c d bradley we both got bob gibson on the mound i'm excited to try him out so double debut right here he's got tony gwen willie mays his cap lou gehrig is another card we'll be debuting soon same with evan longoria who he has both on his team so maybe we get a little insight and see how well they do so we are actually the away team in this scenario i didn't choose this park i promise like i said we are the away team something we should have done we should have warmed up we should have maybe gone a little bit more prepared for this debut because i this is the first time i'm using honus wagner i waited a full day because I want my reactions to this card to be genuine and you guys get to see it. So this game is definitely on legend difficulty. As you can tell by the PCI, Tony Gwen PCI is actually not crazy big. As he's going to get a base hit through the right side. So we got a man on first. Honus Wagner is coming up with a man on. As you see, no at-bats, no average, no hits. I wasn't joking. This is the first time I'm using him. Got ourselves in a full count. We'll do a, a hit and run unless it's a ball here and we almost could have had a rbi opportunity right there we end up first at bat full count we draw the walk so bases first and second frank thomas up at the dish and he is going to ground out into a double play what else is new man every time i have a good opportunity i absolutely choke and swinging that first pitch will do that to you hopefully we can end up getting safe at first base because that was going to be a base hit either way 69 speed ron jeremy coming through clutch we got our first run of the game duke gets a hold of it but did he get all of it he did we are now up three to zero i this is interesting because i got bob gibson on the mound too and i from what i'm seeing i don't think he's that hard to read all right robbie we've seen 17 pitches he does have a good sinker he also has some good pitches robbie's gonna demolish that one too is it gonna get up enough we got ourselves a four to zero lead in the first i meant to check swing but we ended up not getting that luxury we do score four runs in the first inning hopefully honus wagner is going to get a lot of at bats this game like i said we got bob gibson on the mound for us hopefully he does well because in that first inning he got rocked 3-1 i know he's looking for fastball we're going to give it to him right down the middle he is a tad underneath it so we got ourselves the first out but the first glance at bob gibson ain't looking too hot 1-0 the count we are throwing balls like crazy and we throw a sinker down the middle does he at least have good fielding and he's going to be safe at first base and another failed pitch is a change up down the middle it is now four to two we have not hit one spot yet all right well in the comment section down below let me know if you've had some good success with bob gibson because the early look we hung four on him in the first we've given up two in the first for ourselves it is not looking too hot and yet again we are behind in the count 2-0 we're gonna go to this curveball hopefully at least get a strike and throw it down the middle this might be a bullpen game if i'm being honest i am not a fan i have not hit one spot that's gonna be a good slider that's gonna be a good slider it gets the job done if we can hold them to two runs that'll be huge keep them a two run lead but we still need to get one more out two two that's a good slider that's a good pitch that is what i want to see honus wagner gets his first play throws it across the diamond we end up giving up two runs in the first inning but we still have a two run lead ourselves all right jd 
We need to get these two runs back or at least put one more back on the board. And that's the way to get it going. It's not in the gap, so it's not going to be an extra base hit. But getting the leadoff man on just as good. And that might bleed in. And his outfield was playing in, so we're not going to get that cheesy bloop hit. So we got a man on first one down. We swing at a kind of a mistake pitch. But we thankfully don't turn this into a double play. We did get good wood on it, but we were out in front. All right, the man, the myth, the legend, Honus Wagner. You got to walk your first at bat. Let's at least get a base hit. And we swing at not the greatest of pitches, but we are actually not going to get a base hit. He throws it the short way, and Tony Gwen just barely gets out. That would have been a base hit. All right, we got to make sure we square one up with Honus. That, that, that's, that's rule number one. Whatever happens, happens after that, but... First two at-bats, a walk and a pitch that should have been hammered like that, but we did miss it. He did not, so we got a man on first. That's what I'm talking about. He's out in front. We're going to go right back to that pitch. That's going to be another good one. Get ourselves strike three. If we can locate this slider, it is going to be a good pitch. And look at that. We get ourselves a routine fly ball over to Alomar. So now we got two quick outs. Let's get this last one right here on Tony Gwen. This man is fighting for his life. We're going to throw that fastball up and away. He ends up all over it. We should have probably gone up and inside because I actually haven't thrown that pitch a whole lot. So it is now 4-3. to three. Bob Gibson not looking too hot. All right, here we go. We're going to throw this fastball inside. feel like he's ready for it. Actually, he's not. So we're going to utilize that pitch a little bit more than usually I, I may. Oh, my God. How did we just miss that with Frank? Frank, did he... Did he make up for it? He does. He gets himself a solo shot. We missed a hanging curveball, but we take advantage of that slider right on the inside part of the plate. And we at least end up making up for a stupid mistake. We draw the walk. Duke Snyder, let's hit another two-run blast. What the hell was that? Was that like super out in front? All right, it was too early. That, that's what that swing was. Robbie's going to get that over the first baseman. That is going to advance Ron over to third and we're gonna push it for two it's gonna be a close play we slide on the other side of the bag second and third one down willie is gonna get a base hit through that left side so first and third we get ourselves another run six to three the score we gotta avoid the double play that i mean it's not a double play so we still get an opportunity but infield pop out that ain't gonna do anything for us and it brings up bob gibson jesus christ we just missed that slider and that's what happens Bob is not going to be able to help himself out. Unfortunate timing for him. And if he ended up giving one more run, we would have gone to our bullpen already. But it is 6-3. If we could get another inning or two or maybe even more. I'm, I'm all for the more here. But considering how bad I've controlled him so far, unless he drastically turns it around, it's going to be a bullpen game shortly. 1-2. If he's very early, please let it be a strikeout. And that ends up uh, backdooring on us right down the middle. So bob's day is looking like it's coming to a close one more run he's done oh two we're looking to throw a dot of a sinker that might be it and he found that off what all right this game's confusing me it looked like it was a strike three but i guess not throw that slider another mistake pitch but it froze him i'll take it all right three one very familiar situation nothing new we're gonna end up walking him all right bob this is your last inning i wish i substituted you out it's unfortunate man i was Looking forward to Bob. He looked like he was going to have the good stuff. And thankfully, Ron Jeremy's helping us out behind the dish. And we got a strike call. Let's get ourselves out of this inning. Only 6-4. to four to Maintain that two-run lead without throwing those sliders. That would be great. 2-2. Two, two, we're going back to that pitch. As long as we locate it. Again, as long as we locate it, we're okay. That That is a terrible spot. All right, well, let's see if we can get something good out of Honus Wagner. He's 0 for 1, a walk, and what could have been a single. Tony Gwen, I'm telling you, I don't know what happened to him in the past, but he's got godlike power. Seven runs now on the board for us. Honus, it's your turn. It's your turn to do the same thing right here. God, I get way too excited with him, and I swing at stupid pitches. Oh. <gasps> I suck. Man, everyone else but Honus is doing great offensively, man, and it's not his fault. Unfortunately, every time I do get a new card, I fall into the same issue. I swing at ridiculous pitches just because I want to get my first hit with him. And then Ron Jeremy into a double play. Nothing new here. We do a lot of that on this channel. If you enjoy double plays, hit that like button. It's going to be coming in abundance. 
Well, we at least get one run back thanks to Tony Gwynn. First pitch, we throw a strike. We get a ground ball. Robbie makes the play. Bob, you love to see it. All right, let's throw this strike. Oh, buddy. Okay, Bob, you're 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 on thin ice, man. Three one, we're going the fastball again. A little high, a little away, a little down the middle. Gets the job done. So we maintain the one run lead. Not really courtesy of Bob. A little bit of our opponent not taking advantage of mistakes. We're definitely gonna need a couple more runs because until Bob comes up, he's not coming out. Duke. Oh, we sat back on that slider, but not enough. And then we do that. All right. Well. It's like we are either going to be really on a pitch or we are going to look ridiculous. 3-0 the count to Robbie. We're just going to take all the way. I am curious to see what he's going to do on 3-0 count. He's going to groove it. Got to always keep that in mind next time. And we end up drawing the walk. So we got some good information. We put him on first base. Willie Mays up at the dish. Can't believe he's hitting in the seventh spot. All right, swinging first pitch. Not the greatest idea. I've seen Goose before, but your timing always isn't going to be there exactly on the first pitch unless you're lucky. Oh, man. Well, this inning was not a great one by any stretch of the imagination. We missed some good pitches to hit. We failed on all of them. Bob Gibson is going to have to come out for one more inning. Hopefully, he's going to do all right. Hopefully, he's going to get three outs, no runners on, and that would be great because he's coming out after this inning. I don't care how well he does. And, yep, he's coming out. Right, we're just going to throw a waste pitch. One, two, the count. We're going to dot this change up in the dirt. We get him to swing. Can we, can we throw the ball? What are we doing? this game we finally do something good with bob gibson it would only make sense we give up a two-run shot here knowing my luck we almost have it happen all right bobby right here buddy oh god oh my god we got lucky we got lucky we got away with another pitch bob your day is done thank you for the last two innings holding him to zero runs but yeah your day is done it is willie stargill's turn to come off the bench i thought his pci would be a little bit bigger but you know what? it's not terrible not terrible. We swing first pitch. We're out front. Man, we're striking out a lot today. I don't know what is going on. Like I said, we're either on a pitch or we are just terrible. 3-0 the count to Tony with Honus on deck. I know last time he just grooved one, but we're going to take all the way. Let's just see. He is, he's still aiming for the middle of the plate. Hopefully in a different situation, we can use that knowledge. Tony's going to get a base hit to the left side. So again, a man on for Honus Wagner. Can he come clutch with a two-run shot? Come on, give me a mistake pitch right down the middle. You know you want to. I want to, I want to show some pop. I want to see how good this car can do. 3-0 the count. I'm green lighting. I know I'm getting a pitch down the middle. Honus Wagner's day is here. We get the 3-0 count. See, that's the knowledge I'm talking about. I know on 3-0, he's going to give me something to hit. Honus Wagner goes deep. Thank God we got something done with Honus, man. It would have been troublesome. And he's actually one for three on the day with the jack. Forgot. He got a walk. He ended up getting... A ground ball that didn't turn into a hit and something else. I think we struck out with him. Wouldn't surprise me. We've been striking out all day. Frank is going to go the other way. Is it going to get by Tony Gwen? It is. That is easily going to be a double. Man, I'm actually curious. This is the most strikeouts I've had in a game by four. But we still have nine runs and 13 hits. And then Duke Snyder takes one right in the bunghole. Don't know why I'm swinging at that pitch with Robbie. That was off the plate. We were on it. But again, that's off the play. I was not going to hit that hard at all. But we do get two more runs courtesy of Honus Wagner. All right, Bruce Suter's only good for like one inning, and that's really all he's got. First pitch, swinging Josh Donaldson. Make the play. Show the range. Got ourselves out number one. Evan Longoria. Let me know in the comment section also if you'd like to see me debut this Evan Longoria card. We have him. He looks like a lot of fun to use. His stats do look pretty good as well so again let me know in that comment section and we will do it oh two bruce we're throwing that slide piece look how much better the control is i understand that is a ball but we are actually throwing some good pitches here with bruce we're not hanging everything uh, look another good pitch this is this is what i was hoping bob would be doing the one thing i am noticing with evan longoria he does have a shift so i i, I am curious to see how well can he go the other way because if the card has a shift i honestly don't mind at all Simply because I'll just look for those outside pitches, drive it the other way, get a base hit. 0-2, this is like the 20th repeat of this count, and he ends up winning the at-bat, finds a hole. So we got a man on first, still two down. Bruce, no runs given up here, buddy. All right, so 1-0 the count to Yvonne, the Poochinator. We're going to throw a dot of a fastball. We're going to back that up with a slide piece. That is, that is a great, 
Great pitch by me. So it is now nine to six. One, two. We're going to throw this fastball upstairs. Last time he showed he wanted it. Hopefully we could get him to swing at it again. Ended up in the strike zone, but he gets on top of it. Hits it to Robbie, who's playing in the shift. Get ourselves out of the inning. Still maintaining a three run lead, but we got to. I hope to get these two runs back. Oh, did we just miss that slider again? Tell me that is out of play. Of course he does that. So that's going to be out number one. Josh Donaldson smokes it. I don't think he got all of it, though. And he did. And he's going to die right in front of the wall. Josh Donaldson, home run or bust. The man's a line-out machine and a deep fly-out machine. Not a whole lot of in-between for him. Oh, Jesus Christ. What a speed change that was. 69, very nice. Ah, Jesus Christ, what am I doing? Weird, weird feeling today. Strikeouts for me are way the hell up, but the way I'm squaring up the ball also is pretty consistent. It's just a weird mix today. Third time's the charm. There you go. That's not terrible. That is not a terrible pitch right there. We jam him with it. So Robbie Alomar is going to make it out number two. All right, you know what? We're going to change it up a little bit. We're going to throw something flat. Four seam flat. Four seam flat. Yeah, I, I risked it. I knew I was probably not going to catch it. I was willing to accept that. So he's going to turn that into a double. Should have been a single, but a man on second, two down. Kenley, we're bringing you out, man. I, I do not want to give up a three-run shot, and that might do it. All right, 0-1. We're going to throw that slider. Get him out in his front foot. Come on, Ron, make the play. He makes the play. We get ourselves out of the jam. Thank God. We needed that big time. Let's get some more runs. Tony Gwynn, Honus Wagner coming up. And that is a great swing. Wow, all right. These last couple innings not looking too good. Turn it around for us, Honus. Another tank. Maybe an extra base hit. Maybe even just a base hit, and we'll show off your wheels. All right, 3-1 to Honus. We may get another walk. In that case, we will definitely be looking to steal. Get ourselves a good pitch to hit. That was an amazing pitch to hit, and we got on top of it. Frank down the line ends up tailing just foul. So we end up drawing the walk for Frank. That brings up Ron Jeremy. My... My early looks at Eric Gagne, I do think he's got some good pitches, especially if you throw that fastball there with a splitter. It's good. It is a good combo right there. What? We end up drawing another ball for base hit. Makes him pay Duke. This is your chance. You bring out a lefty, I will make you pay. I'll bring out Ryan Braun. The Duke and Nader hits it high and deep, but foul. Another full count coming up right here. Runners are going to be in motion. Duke make him pay duke makes him pay he throws a fastball down the middle that's a three run shot from duke much needed runs right there so that is going to go ahead and do it for eric gagne like i said he does look good i am looking to get him for my bullpen and hopefully we just don't make mistakes like he did he was throwing some good dot pitches with him so that gives me some confidence robbie i think we just missed that it looks like that is the case it's going to go all the way to the track his Duke Snyder is going to track it down. So we do get three more runs, make it 12 to 6. Got ourselves a comfortable lead going into these last two innings. All right, good news about Kenley. Uh, I was, I was going to say I usually throw some good pitches with him. I, I dot up with him, as you see right there. But that first pitch slider down the middle could have been so much worse. But we end up getting a fly off route number one. All right, we're going for this backdoor slider. We hit a shit. All right, well, almost... A terrible pitch, but it ended up being in a great spot. A little bit of RNG luck for us. Gets us out number two. All right, here is Pudge. We're going to throw that sinker inside. Great pitch. That's what I'm talking about, where we can locate with Kenley. We're going to go with that slider now. Good speed differential. Ends up getting this strike three on the check swing, which on my screen, he didn't go at all. But I'm assuming on his screen, might have been a full swing. All right, well, we missed that one. That was a pitch I was looking for, too, but got underneath it. That's going to be out number one. I would love to get Honus up one more time, but we would at least we need to get two hits or two base runners on. Hopefully, we could get that. Josh Donaldson hits a tank to right center field. Like I said, tank or bust is his name, nothing else. All right, that's going to do it for Kenley. I want to get Honus Wagner up one more time. We'll bring out Hornsby. Hopefully, he gets the job done. All right, Hornsby right here, buddy. He brings out his own Kenley Jansen. This man's bullpen is stacked. Bean me, walk me, put a ball in between his butt cheeks like he did to Duke. I'm on board for whatever. Just get me on base. 3-0, and he throws a dot. My God. All righty. Hopefully, you throw another 
ball. All right. I may just look for anything up in the zone for Tony. Nothing low. We're avoiding this double play at all costs. I'm okay with that. It is a pitch that was good to get underneath. Honus Wagner, last at bat for the ninth inning. Maybe not the last at bat for the team if he gets on base. And, dude, we keep doing the same thing with him. We swing first pitch. We... We're probably going to have to do something in the future. Just watch other videos if you want to get a good look at the card. I am just way too antsy with them. Ah, it pisses me off that I'm that way when I get new cards. I need to find a way to stay patient. And he's going to get a weak hit up the middle. So not the way you want to start an inning. Even with a seven-run lead, you always want to get the first out. Unintentional dots right there. I mean, I'm on board for it. Yeah, you want to keep leading off with Frank. And another base hit right up the poop shoot. All right, so it's going to be first and third. Again, I'm not worried about it. I just want to get that first out of the inning. Kill any potential rally that's going to happen here. I hate that you could take advantage of this. Like, I wish you could tell him to cover second because you know he's going to steal. All right, you swung at this pitch last time. Let's see if you're going to swing at it again. Josh Donaldson, will he make the play? He's going to be safe at first. Base is loaded. No outs. 3-2, that's going to be a good change up. And good, good ends up not in the zone. That is tough. That is tough considering how things are going right now. He's taken till two strikes or something. He's afraid to swing the bat. But, I mean, I get it considering I'm not throwing any strikes. Turn the double play here. We're not going to turn two. But we are going to get the man out at second. 0-1, oh, he's stealing again. Hate the fact that I can't. Oh, my God, we're still going to turn two. We still turn two on it and he was stealing you hate to see it we get ourselves out of the jam and we only ended up giving two runs when it should have been so much more so player of the game is duke snyder two for four two homers five rubies i'm telling you i love him in left field for me frank thomas three for four a home run a double an rbi tony gwen three for six home run rbi alomar two for four home run double rbi when it came to honus wagner i love his swing his stance doesn't bother me i i actually like it um that being said i was just so antsy we at least got one home run with him but that was his only hit we did have so many potential good pitches for him but again i got way too antsy and i failed on that front if you enjoyed today's video please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel also if you want to see almost like a redo of the honus wagner gameplay but maybe with like evan longoria or somebody else let me know in the comment section. I'll be sure to do it. Thank you.